ATL Battlegrounds 4. We got our second battle of the night. MC on my right, introduce yourself. Yo, my name's Anderson Burris, or as they call me in the street, Anderson. Word up. In the street. Streets, son, streets. Gangster on my left. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Mike Live, FTO 1100. Cypher, Cypher. Cypher, Cypher. Cypher. FTO, shit, I like this. Uh, no, no, no. Right. <laughs> you better flip a coin. You call it in the air. It's Tails. Word up. I'll go first. Really? Mike has uh -oh. chosen to go first. Uh oh. Make some noise for Mike Live. He's about to kick it off. Yeah. Yeah. Round one. Thanks, Live. Thank you. Yo! I would like to start off by saying that all my favorite battle rappers are honest, and I honestly like this guy. I mean, all my favorite battle rappers are honest, and I honestly like this guy. I mean, he inspires me on many levels, and he's done a lot for the Scythe. And he's unique in a way that he keeps all of his raps clean. So out of respect for you, this particular battle, I'm going to do the same thing. Y'all ready? Yeah! yeah! Heck yeah! Y'all know what rhymes with Anderson Burris? What's that? Fucking bitch-ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs> the corniest white motherfucker I've ever seen in my life, bro. You know, it's, it's ironic you don't use bad words, but ever since you joined the league and stepped in the ring, you've literally been cursed. I mean, bro, you had a battle with Dave Brown. He had a half okay round. Then you moved up to Billy Duchess, but he just said fuck it or something. I mean, I don't know the logistics, but ever since then, the script flip. Now they got you battling this kid with clenched fists. Grew up so poor, I couldn't afford a fish stick. Now y'all got me going to get this dipshit rich kid. Doesn't have enough sense shit to use his intuition, so it remains an American stereotype as a white ignorant Christian. I mean, Jesus Christ. Woo, that's what you believe in, my man. I mean, it's hard to believe the epitome of the nerd hasn't done his history of research, stepped back and looked at religion like, God damn, bro, you are way too intelligent to still believe that heaven and hell exists without any empirical evidence whatsoever. It's foolish. I mean, we're talking about a book that was written by people that thought the earth was flat. I mean, we didn't revolve around the sun. The sun and planets revolved around us, in fact, and we were the center of the universe at that. You know, and listen, people, back in them days, if you were wise and wanted to stay alive, you wouldn't say anything to change your mind. Nah, that'd be suicide, because these people that God would literally have you crucified over a Jewish guy. Hula! Yo! Yeah, okay. for real. Go. You gotta understand and learn how God varies. I mean, they used to hate. To get to the Jesus that you praise today, they had to do shit like burn down libraries and murder every science fairy. <laughs> shit, <laughs> bruh. Don't even yeah. make me go into a mention the Roman Inquisition, the Dark Ages, and how all your holidays and celebrations are pagan. Nah. Damn, and just to thank y'all, <laughs> those dirty hands force you to thank God you've been brainwashed. <laughs> and now you cross live. Michael's gotta sacrifice his disciples. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Look at Bo Burnham, thinking he's the shit. Somebody tell this piece of shit to eat a dick. Oh, you yeah. fucking fallopian dude. You're such a pussy, you probably think ovaries are cute. Woo. Yo, you looking kind of nervous when I flow in here. Shit, I bitch slap his mom Anderson. Burr getting cold in here. Woo. Woo. Yo. Woo. Man. Look at this fucking bubblegum son of a gun that can't wait for the next number one chart-topping hit from Lumineers and Mumford and Sons. <laughs> for real. You got a fucking scrawny neck I love to strangle. Dude, it's gonna be a painful window considering how hard you use the white angle. <laughs> Yo. Oh, that was over there. Yeah. But nah, man, think about it, man. Where would you be without the Scythe after all? I mean, yeah, you tall but too soft to play basketball. You're probably somewhere with jacking off fucking snorting lines of Adderall. Yeah, <laughs> motherfucker. But real, nah, real talk though. Real talk, where would you be without me? Where would you be without me, dude? You should be grateful and say thank you because I'm the one that made the Scythe that made you. Oh, oh. Time. all right. Woo! Round one, Anderson Burst. So I was supposed to battle Billy Duchess. Most of you, I'm sure, know this. I had three rounds ready for him. Ten minutes of pure dopeness. Well, last week he backed out, which to me is pure bogus. But Billy Duchess is a midget, so of course he gave me short notice. Now I'm battling Mike live. You all said I was going to get a beatdown. 
I mean, he washed filthy so badly. I mean, look at him. He's clean now. But just cause, just cause I don't got a lot of buzz doesn't mean I won't sting. And just cause I'm the underdog doesn't mean I won't swing. But uh, I should be honored to be on stage with this dude. So you know what? If it's cool, let me get a quick picture of you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude. This is for Instagram. I love taking pictures of my food. You ain't step onto a stage, you step onto a plate. This one round will be a one roundhouse kick to your face. And C Shreve could have gotten it too if he kept up on the stage. I'm gonna make FTO get the FOH. Y'all call him the Cypher God. That makes me an atheist. Screw it! He's a cypher guy? That makes me a Satanist! I don't give a crap! Then we got mutual bros, I'll put anthrax in your Christmas cards and kill everybody you know! I won't really, I won't really, probably won't do it. Dog, you were so nonchalant when he accepted this battle. He told SK that, yeah, I could throw something together for Anderson. You think you think you think you could beat me by throwing something together? Homie, you should have been panicking, scrambling, calling Sea Shreve like, I'm battling Anderson, run the Tucson to the wet, the whole 1100 famine, then meet me in my apartment so you can all help me plan for him. Well, I got bars for you and all your brothers. I call that a family plan. Billy Duchess from the dark side. I would have turned him back to Anakin. This will end worse. This will end worse than an order from Zach Brannigan or re-electing Bush so we can go invade Iran again. Mm. I will make you feel the burn whether or not you were a Sanders fan. Lay you out stiff. Lay you out stiff. Your new challenge? Be a mannequin. This will be more than damage and forget about the bandaging. You'll need the surgery needed to make Caitlyn Jenner a mannequin. I don't got a team, so he'll always have me outnumbered. He's got that gay little war call to summon 1100 hunters. Like, oh no, oh, shut up, Puto, you know I ain't having it. I'm pissing off all the veterans. I'm the white Colin Kaepernick. I mean, I can't, I can't stand this dude. Your persona is so lame. I mean, you sound like Yellow Wolf hopped up on cocaine. Your voice just sounds racist. <laughs> Y'all know what rhymes with Mike Live? What's that? White Pride. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tell me, what's the point of being a really fit dude if you can't get your career to work out too? I mean, for the past six months, you haven't been focused, dude. You're on Instagram posting pics from your latest photo shoot. There really ain't no excuse. It's honestly gay as crap. There's just a bunch of shirtless pictures that don't even relate to rap. Look, I hope you get smacked tonight, because homie, you ain't acting right. We want woven hatchet, Mike, but you're giving us magic, Mike. I mean, really, what happened, Mike? <laughs> you started the NC State Cypher and left it, like that's that. Now you come around once a year like a bad dad. It turns out we don't need you. It turns out we don't need you. Look at all that we've done. Anyone can start a cypher. It takes a real MC to lead one. I mean, this, this past annual cypher, you look so out of your element. I only invited you to come to remind you you're not relevant. This is the founder versus the president. Columbus versus Jefferson. Now it's a bear versus a mountain man. It's looking like the Revenant. And they only gave me one round, so I really had to rush this. But I was battling a legend. So I had to do him justice. With one week to prepare, I still managed to crush this. So just imagine what I would have done to Billy Duchess. Yeah. 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 Hey, real quick, real quick, real quick. There really, there, there, there are very, very, very few people that I know that I, I respect more than this dude. Like, really, you started the interesting. Like, I love this dude to death. Um, so when I, yeah, all the times I threatened to kill you, I was, I was, I was like 97% kidding, so it's all good. Got his back, homie. Jay Kruger sliced that ass up.